Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Monica here. I hope you all are doing great. So, if you are following me from quite some time, then you will know that in this channel, I have been teaching you and telling you about the flow elements, variables, components, and flow types. How we can use flows, how we can schedule flows, how we can use automation in Salesforce. Okay. And while doing this, I have been getting a lot of messages about creating videos about real life scenarios about the scenarios that we actually get in our corporate world from our clients but i just wanted you to be prepared with all the knowledge that i can give you about the elements and the flow types before getting into this before stepping into this corporate world so from now onwards i'll be posting real life scenarios real life flow examples that we usually get from our client now today is the first example of the flow scenario series now let's get started with the first example i will tell you the scenario and then we will start creating our flow so the first scenario is at abc inc leads for existing customers sometimes gets into salesforce the sales director wants them to mark so they can be checked and processed okay now we need to create a flow that checks new leads to see if there is already an account whose name matches the leads company field okay if there is a match add that account to the leads possible matching field okay in case there are multiple matches make sure you mark each lead with its most recent account uh i have already created the field i will just show you here uh, in object manager lead and it was possible matching account yes so i have created a lookup field which is possible matching account which is a lookup to account object okay now what we will do is we will create the flow and we will check if there is already an account with the leads company name if there is one then we will add that account to this lookup field okay uh, let's go to flow And we will just start creating a new flow that will be a record triggered flow which will trigger when a lead will be created let's select this and create object will be lead uh, for configuring trigger we are selecting a record is created okay and for entry conditions we don't have any entry conditions let's select fast field update because uh, we are going to just update the field that is in the lead object itself now we will use the get records element and here we will write um, get lead account uh, one second yeah don't forget to keep the uh, description as appropriate as possible let's write get leads matching account now there is an a uh, question of a uh, duplicacy of accounts so there can be multiple accounts with the same name so what we are going to do is we will select account and in the condition account name equals to record dot company name okay so basically in lead uh, the account comes in the company field so if the leads company name uh, matches to the account name then we are going to get that account but what if there are multiple accounts then we have to sort it by descending account id because we want to select the latest account and match it with the uh, new lead that we are getting okay so only the first account and that is it now we have here our account now the next step what we are going to do is we are going to update the leads record let's select update triggering record update lead with possible matching account Uh, use the lead record that triggered the flow that is correct now what we will do is we will write possible matching account and here we will add the account id that we got from the get record element here 
and that is it now let's just take a quick recap of what we have done here our requirement was uh, if there is already an account or multiple account whose name matches with a new lead that we are uh, entering into salesforce then we are going to get that account and put that in the possible matching account field in lead object what is the purpose of that so that we can uh, process and we can point out that this account for this new lead is already an, an existing account in salesforce and it is not a new account okay that will just help the sales director to mark the account and then to process the account accordingly okay uh, we will just save this very quickly uh, okay so the best way to add the flow name at the flow label is uh, add the object name hyphen sign and then you will uh, just add if it is a before save or before update or if it is a after save or after update okay so what we will do is this is a before save flow So we will write before save if you want to be very very specific then you can uh, write what this flow is going to do but the best practice is that you will add the object name hyphen and then you will add uh, when the flow will trigger it will trigger before saving the lead or after saving the lead or before updating or after updating the lead okay so this is that and in the description we will write the following uh, let's write this will check for possible matching account in Salesforce okay you can type any description you can type anything that is appropriate according to you uh, I think that works fine for me so I will do that uh, let's click on save and let's just activate it but before that we will quickly debug it and uh, uh let me see if i have any lead already to check if this is working fine okay so let's take this lead this one and run okay this is just to see if the flow is running absolutely fine or if there are any issues or any bugs uh, everything is looking great so i think the flow worked fine get record element fail to find records that is absolutely fine uh, it's not uh, mandatory that we have already an account for the lead company name uh, it is just a possibility that we could have an account okay everything is rolled back okay so this is working fine let's go back to our flow and activate it now the way to check is um let's go to accounts here mm -hmm. let's create a new one Okay, so the account name is ABC INC. Okay, uh, parent account none. Let's just fill the required fields quickly. There's nothing else required, so we will just add this account. Okay, now what we will do is we will add a lead uh, here. And in the leads company name, we, be, we will add uh, ABC INC. Okay, let's create a new lead. Let's mm -hmm. ABC lead. Let's write ABC here and lead here. Now in the company name, we will write ABC INC. Okay. Uh, that's it not contracted will be fine mm, okay let's click on save and if our flow is working fine then this field will be populated will with our uh, abc inc account let's click on save and here's the detail mm, let's go here 
let's see if the possible match yes so in the possible matching account we have our abc inc account that we have just created okay so that was it that was today's example i'll see you super soon with the next flow scenario till then bye bye take care and keep learning